Greetings friends, welcome back to my channel, this is JP, and we close to a uh, new story driven episode from the game Horizon Zero Dawn, the remastered edition which came out this year uh, for the PC. Uh, in this gameplay we will be playing the quest called uh, Sun Shall Fall, uh, Moments Peace and Maker's End, ending it with that quest. It's gonna be a pretty long gameplay video. Always like and share and enjoy this gameplay. You have no need to loiter around here. I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope, seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Uh, yes, a landlord. Uh, the Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. Uh, it's by the edge of the Mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Aaron, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious. Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? She wasn't worried about her pain. She was worried about her brother. And she was worried about you. Thank you, Aloy. I suppose I needed to know I was as much on her mind as she is on mine. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. Arrested too for disorderly conduct last night. You don't want to know what you were doing. Bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not uh, choosing. Nothing like sipping a drink and This is the place. You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you. Is a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. It's a bomb, all right. Well crafted. Blaze. It must be leaking from something upstairs. If that bomb goes off, the blaze will ignite in a firestorm. That's a lot of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Durval promised. Smoke will darken the sun, 
As the city goes up in flames, there's, there's got to be a way to stop it. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. Uh, so, is, uh, is, is that thing going to go off? It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. Uh. We did it! Durval's best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This is an over. Durval said he'd make a VOD watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace, and that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. He tries for the palace. He's finished. before it sparks another explosion. Blue tracks, with just a bit of blaze in them. You'll sell me their services. No questions asked on my part. What happened? I haven't heard a blast like that since the liberation. Let's have a chat. No, a colorful discussion. There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. Are we under it? The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. Must be where Durval assembled the detonator. <sighs> he tunneled through the wall. Durval did find a way into the palace.
Wish I could be there to see the sun god on his knees. Quit carping, you chuff. Someone's gotta guard the rear. Someone better guard your rear. Helpful. Sleeping lanterns! Stocking up. Look at you, Avon. The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian Avad. Breathe in the stench. Choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. I, I didn't hear anything. There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner! I can always use these. What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Look out! It's her! Hey, brothers! Ah! I've led an army. Killed Kessler. Ah! Because a savage is not. Ah! Why does a bard always have his ladies do the fighting? I can kill you from right here. Can we finish this? I've got a sun god to kill. I lost him! I've led an army. Killed kestrels and ravagers. A savage is nothing. This one's yours. Why does Avad always have his ladies do the fighting? Don't lose her. Can we finish this? I've got a sun god to kill. And the power of the shadow! I've led an army. Ah. Killed kestrels and ravagers. A savage is nothing. Why does Avad always have his late? I've led an army. Killed kestrels and ravagers. A savage is not. It's not over yet, Nora. Any good Osaram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan.
Come on then. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. Ah, those majestic, murderous glint hawks. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. Fighting these things because there's more in the way. Ah, those majestic, murderous glint hawks. Here we go. Majestic, murderous glint hawks. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. It's not. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. Ah, those majestic, murderous glint hawks. I 
hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way. Majestic, murderous glint hawks. Because there's more in the way!
As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up! You're at the Sun King's mercy now. To say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. What exactly will happen to Durval? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his expedition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Asuran devices surpass even his imaginings. Durval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. Were you and Ursa, you know? I suppose it's obvious how I feel, how I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Asaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Asaram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Derval. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. It's time for me to go. Uh, w wait a moment. As I said, I'd hoped you'd consider staying in Meridian. And why is that? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I, I could use someone like you at my side. It might be worth taking a moment to examine what you just said. You just lost Ursa, a woman who stood at your side and could easily be described as strong, shrewd, and capable. It's pretty clear how you felt about her. And now you're asking me to take her place. Is this a job offer or a proposition? By the sun, you do indeed share much with Ursa including a withering eye for foolishness. Ah. Please, accept my apologies. Seems I'm getting ahead of myself. I need some time to resolve my feelings. I will be forever grateful to you, Aloy. 
and in time, I'd like to get to know you better. Shall we leave it at that, then? It's time for me to go. Of course. I hope you find what you're after, Aloy. And if need be, I will come to your aid. As sure as the sun's rising. Aloy. I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do, right? <laughs> You're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. Yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Yeah, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for errand vanguardsmen? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and... We'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit chat, more drinking. What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master. All before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. Now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. Well, she likes me. Goods, they're necessities. Check out these wares. Buy what you need. That's a load off.
Tuck that away. to me.
should have brought a cart. This has to be the Banuke camp that Vilgen told me about. So what happened to the other mercenaries he sent? The machines are docile. It's like they've already been overridden. Shaman, you're trying to understand the machines here, too? Yes, Nora. And taking my time with my studies. Between you, me, and the spirits, I appreciate the peace. Not just from the machines. There are many changes in Ban-Ur. The hunters and shamans 
bicker without end. What about? How best to deal with a harsher world. The hunters, they don't want it back the way it used to be. And we shamans find ourselves able to explain less and less. So many are exiles now, sent to wander. Here, no one argues. So, I welcome mystery. Travel well. The hunters will want to see this grove for themselves. The shamans would be wise not to let them. Good hunting. What are we doing here? Every idle movement is another mile between us and the herd. I am the best hunter of my Werak, and none shall wrest that honor from me. This is how These the lands must have gotten up noise, and down the mountain. But it is just noise. No sounds. Talks are just waiting. A good sign, I guess. Right beyond your chopping shard purses! Did Vilgen send you? Hmm. I guess shards can buy a conscience. Mm -hmm. Never mind that. Nora girl, you have to stop the others. Up ahead, we snuck up here. Uncovered some kind of ancient device, plain as an anvil. That's what affects the machines. The other bungheads voted to take it to Pitchcliff for auction. But it's taken a beating already. Like it dropped from the sky. Look, we tried to stop them digging it out. Without that thing up here, those Banuk will be massacred. I'll stop them. You two get out of here. It sounds like you've already done enough damage. Well, that's a fair appraisal. Can't spare the weight. What do you let the rope slip for? You bunch of chuff skulls. What have you done? Who are you? You're not one of those Banuk. <sighs> Too late. Let me look at it. Hold on, hold on. This was our delve. We did the work. You want to put your axe in? What's this thing worth to you? I don't know about this. This was your idea. You started it, you can finish. All right. Could be this thing's just scrap, but even scrap has a price. So I'll ask again, what's it worth to you? It's worth more to me than you are. You still want to negotiate? Forget it. All yeast ever given me is black toes. <sighs> They've made a mess of this. Catastrophic malfunction. This is from long ago. And it's been sending a signal all this time. Fading out. I have to get back to the camp before the machines tear it apart.
the machines are They've angry. They've already started attacking. Keep your distance. Hunters, just the hunt the is back. Do what you must. You'll hear my song, Machine. A sharp song. Go down! Nora, did you know this change would come upon us? Not exactly. Although I know there is a lot changing in our world. This time it was outsiders. Those Asaram thought. The Asaram do not think. They will never understand the balance between us. Between man and machine. Now the blue light has gone. And we are left with many songs but more for mourning than gratitude. So what now? Will you go back to your homeland? When we teach the young to walk on shifting ice, we say the secret is taking one step, then the next. Perhaps one day we will understand the machine's mysteries. I hope so. Good luck, T. Cook. Nothing there, idiot.
forget about the sun bun. All these fancy decorations. I've got all the best goods here. You'll regret not stopping when you're in the thick of it. Able-bodied adventurers, Outlander, are you looking for... Wait, I know your face. You came back. How did we fare? Expensively. That's what I was afraid of. The tame machines. It's hard to explain, but there was a kind of signal that calmed them. Your men got greedy, so it's gone now. Gambling's a shoddy job, girl. I should have been a weapons dealer. That's steady work. Here, take it. The half I'd owed those hammer-handed chunks. Half? I finished the job. And what was it you said? Enough to buy a more becoming garb? What do you want? Carja silks? Ah. Hoisted on my own purse strings. It was Derval. He tried to kill the Sun King. Unbelievable. Grace and beauty I would like to discuss with you. It's always the ones you least expect that cause you trouble. City guard the other day. Amazing. Do I look like I have time to spare? I didn't inherit. Everyone that. needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's talk it over. Genuine craftsmanship. You can't be that. You'll like what I have for sale, I promise. Come take a look. She didn't even hesitate. She stood between the Running in a cell as we speak. Durval. Working hard? Keep
said it would be. It's not a bad selection. I'll put those to use. Why are you doing this? to use. Why are you doing this? Because I want you to succeed. Good hunting. We'll talk later. Wait! the old ones do here. <laughs> Corrupted watchers acting as guards. The eclipse and corrupted machines cooperating. One happy family. they've been uncovering here. Eclipse, just like you said. See someone up there? A corruptor that might prove a challenge. What's that? Another explosion. Weapons operation. Time to get it moving and be quick about it. I'd have to leave something else behind. Focus. It stopped working. I've disabled his focus. The focus doesn't do. Oh! <laughs> 
those are weak points.
over here. She's coming. This will go a lot faster if... <sighs> Did it. Those things pack a punch. All right. That Eclipse officer had a focus. Let's see what's on it. <sighs> Let's see what you have to say. The entity lives. Unacceptable. 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 Uh. Oh. What the hell was that? Hades? Hey! M mysterious stranger, did you see that? No answer, huh? Figures. Hold for right into scan. Three hundred and fifty thousand. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? A Deathbringer. Or a statue of one, anyway. A machine. What was this place? What were they doing here? It was a corporation. A group of people not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. The air. There's no smell to it. Another cave in. But I could get through. Uh! I bet I can use that as a ramp to get back up. Ah! <sighs> 
like the way up. What's left of it? <laughs> It'll be a long way up. Frozen metal most of the way. Not making this easy, Dr. Sobek. Plants can find a way to hang on up here. Guess I can too. Takes is a few good handholds. All right, made it. Wonder what we'll find. has been erased from this device. Do you wish to deploy alpha privileges to recover purge data? Oh yes, I believe I do. A file has been recovered.
Elizabeth. Good to, uh... It's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your daddy confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's a glitch in the chariot line. You're a killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes, those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. Another fellow has been recovered. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth kicks out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth. But somehow she defeated them. The world of the Old Ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. A final fellow has been recovered. Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I am speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift. This, this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching and I'm still no closer. That's your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? 
You should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. All right, Silence. You've made your point. I came to these ruins hoping to learn more about this Elizabeth Sobek. And I have, but I still don't understand my connection to her. Or why the Eclipse is trying to kill me. Or who Hades is. No answers, just one question after another. Exactly. Which is why it's time to expand your frame of inquiry. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So, what did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now, are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you've still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. But this is speculation. Wasting time. Now that's enough talking. Be on your way. Oh no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining and answer my questions. Very well. Proceed. Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this personal? I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. You said you've known for some time that Faro War Machines destroyed the civilization of the Old Ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. 
that they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots, like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of? So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades. It didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom with a terrible voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Hades is using the Eclipse to resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cheery name. You'll find it in the eastern mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a B.O.R. 7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. Well, getting down will be a lot faster than getting up here, at least. U.S. Robot Command next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. <laughs>